Friday evening at Fright Fest. You guys know the deal. Gonna try and do Screaming Eagle first thing as usual, and hopefully it doesn't do like it did last time and break down when I'm on the train. So once we get let in, it's straight to the back of the park. I remember they're telling them about that, like the two tunnels where trolls usually is for like the past two years. Yeah, that makes sense. I just I'm on my eyes here. this time and let's hope I don't have to get evac off the train. It was red train that did that last time whereas I think they got the blue train for first resident which it is. So let's see if things go better. Just got first ride of the day on Screaming Eagle and that thing was one of the slowest rides I've had on this thing this season. Barely any air time even though I was in the front row of the blue train. So that could have been better but then again I was like the only one on the train. So what do you expect? I'm going down towards Justice League now because I realized a couple days ago there's a very slim chance I could get my 2,000th max score this year. My trip to Fright Fest last weekend were absolutely insane when it came to that ride as I went on an absolute rampage getting several double maxes. So to give the best chances of trying to replicate that I'm going down there, getting a few laps on that while that line is short. And then I'm going to hop on Mr. Freeze, because when I came here on Friday night a couple weeks ago, Mr. Freeze was down half the day, supposedly because of heat lightning. So I'm going to get on that fairly early in case something happens with that, and then I'll go up to the boss after a while. It's crazy being the only one on this pathway. Well, besides these guys over here, there's nobody up there. Justice League is open, so I don't know the people on it, which there probably are, but I'll be one of the first riders on it. It's a little after 6.05, so the park just opened, so I'm not anticipating a long line for this thing at all. for today and then go up towards the boss. <laughs>
just a freeze for today, I would say. Then I got a couple night rides on Rookie, including my first ever back row night ride. I've done the front row night before, but never the back row night, and I would say the back was better for today. And then I finally got a night ride on River King Lion Train, which I've been trying to do the past few visits, but it's always been close that I've tried to do it. I got to do it tonight, and lost not one of the better night rides in this park, I still enjoy it. Now let's try Screaming Eagle at night, see how this thing is at night, and hopefully it's running better, because earlier today it was not running that good. <laughs> had another ridiculous rampage on Justice League to end my day. And my final ride count was 14 on Justice League, four on Rookie Racer, two on Mr. Freeze and Screaming Eagle, and then one on Boss and River King Mind Train. In terms of highlights, the rampage I went on for Justice League was awesome. Eagle at Night was great. Freeze was awesome. Boss was good. There wasn't really a single bad ride today. I'll be here on Sunday as well with rides. So let's make it a two-day vlog and jump to day two. This is a security check Have a six flags day. cloud in sight, which is excellent. So this should make getting good shots of the rides fairly easy. Brian will actually be joining me for part today, and he told me he'd be here around three o'clock. It's about one o'clock now, so we got some time to kill before he shows up. I'm gonna get some laughs on Justice League start off my day, because obviously I'm, start, I'm here after opening, and therefore I'm not first one on Eagle. So I'm currently standing at seven double maxes in a row, and if I get a dual wheel drive and a good car on my next ride, and I double max it, that's eight in a row. So let's see how we do. Justice League and I didn't really do that well. I ended up with blue green of car three both times so that wasn't exactly the best. I'm gonna ride Mr. Freeze now and then I'll try Justice League a few more times before going up towards the house.
to freeze, one's in the front, one's in the back. I think I might have leaned towards the back being the better road for today, although both are really good. And then I got one of the most, if not the most unconventional combination for the double nice pair of hats. I had blue and purple of part eight, and I somehow got it. Like, I've never gotten a double mask with a purple blaster being part of it, so that's a new one for me right there.
Joker Carnival of Chaos. And I'm not sure if this is an unpopular opinion, but I think these Zamperla discoveries are better in the daytime. The reason why I say that is because you're able to see all the rides from that are vantage points during the day. You can't really see too many of the rides when it's dark around. That's why I personally prefer Joker Carnival of Chaos in the daytime. And I know it's still an excellent oh ride, although it was very cold. Let's go marathon just to see more closest now. Double maxes in a row in that marathon, and I am exhausted. But today was an awesome day. In terms of my ride count, it was 18 on Justice League, 4 on Mr. Freeze, 3 on American Thunder, 2 on Screaming Eagle, and then 1 on Batman the Ride, Boss, and Joker, Carnival of Chaos. In terms of highlights, the rides on American Thunder were absolutely absurd. Mr. Freeze is running great. Joker at night was really fun. Batman being glossy smooth. Overall, I had no complaints about today or this weekend in general. And before you play the awesome video, please surely leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else right now. If you're new to this channel like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. I'd appreciate you subscribing and tell the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures that take whenever I visit parks, so be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you later.